This video is an introduction to the Visual Text Box Editor, VTBE for short, in Blackboard. For universal design purposes, we require faculty and staff to use Arial 4 for their font, and we recommend students use it, but they are not required. It's easiest to set your font to Arial 4 before you start typing your content in. Sometimes after you've already created your content, saved it, and come back to it to edit it later on, it might change the formatting. And if you switch it back to Arial 4, it might not stay or look the way it should, so we have to coax it. And by doing... I'm just going to type in a word here, and let's pretend it doesn't look like Arial 4. You have to do the coaxing by changing the font size go up to one or two and then switch it to six or seven and then finally set it to four and it should hold. This used to be a bigger problem but it's a good idea to keep this in the back of your mind and give it a try if you ever have problems with the formatting. In terms of copying and pasting text into the VTBE you should not copy directly from Word and paste into the VTBE. That will bring in unnecessary code that will break things. I'll just quick show you what I mean by that. I'm opening up here a Word document. I'm just going to copy the first couple paragraphs here and I'm going to paste it directly into my VTBE and it looks great. Everything formatted exactly like I wanted it to. looks exactly like it does in the Word document. I'm going to toggle to HTML and just scrolling through the code, there's all of this extra Microsoft Word CSS code in here that we don't need and it causes things to break in Blackboard. So we must not do this. We cannot do this. So the workaround to that is either just to type your information in or if you have the Word document existing already, just copy from Word and open up a plain text editor on my Mac here at TextEdit. So I'm just pasting my information in here and sometimes it will not stay or be brought in as plain text so you have to switch it. Um, this document is already set at plain text so I would have an option here to make plain text everything's okay it looks plain so I'm just going to highlight it from here copy it from here and go into blackboard and paste it and we'll just toggle to HTML and it's very clean there's nothing extra that we don't need here very simple this is exactly what we need so you can see I brought in a bulleted list that did not hold the bulleted list format so we have to manually change it here in the VTBE and that's just a little just click through and change the options and if you look at the HTML you'll see it it just does the simple HTML that's all we need now there's one other thing you can do if you have something complex in Word or another document that you don't want to spend the time manually putting the HTML code in or tweaking the VTBE settings here to make the, the document look okay, you can use a new mashup tool that we installed called Paste From Word. And I'll just demonstrate how to do that here real quick. My Word document, I'm just going to select my table I'm copying it, going back into my content item, going to the Paste from Word mashup, and you can use this button up here, or you can just paste the text right in here. You can see the table looks pretty good, and you can toggle to HTML, and you'll see everything is plain and simple HTML, looking good. So that's the summary for using the VTBE. Sometimes things do get a little crazy or look funky. If you have that happen or have questions, please submit a Minos Tech Support ticket and we'll work on it.